Civil danger warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Louisville Police Department and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At 7.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there were many mysterious reports of a blood moon in the night skies of Louisville. Victims who look upon the blood moon will fall to the ground and get impaled by red, bloody spikes. Approximately 178 people have died from being impaled by spikes after looking at the blood moon. All residents in the city of Louisville are advised to immediately shelter in place. Close and lock all windows and doors, turn off all heating and air conditioning units, close all fireplace dampers, and seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape, damp clothing, or damp towels. Grab food, water, clothing, medical supplies, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries. If you look at any portion of the blood moon, you will face certain death. Stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. Or is a pool of red liquid discovered in northern Canada. The liquid is of a consistency similar to that of human blood, hence the colloquial name blood pond. But it is not of biological nature. The pool does not have definitive banks, soil mixes with the liquid until at a certain point there is more soil than liquid and the ground is mostly solid. The liquid becomes denser as one descends deeper into the pool. If the pool has a bottom, it has... Good evening everyone, it is currently 8.15pm Central Standard Time. I am your... Your host Jeremy Wilkins, and we're we're providing news on the the Blood Moon event. It has been reported that the Blood Moon catastrophe has started. Many people have di died from being impaled from spikes after looking at the Blood Moon. I wouldn't look at the Blood Moon if I were you, Ooh, guys. This is proving into a deadly situation. Live from Louisville, Kentucky, is my correspondent, Jamie. Jamie, are you there? I am currently live from Louisville, where everyone is dying from being impaled from spots after looking at the blood moon. I should not be outside during the blood moon. I'll try my best not to look at the blood moon. Um, Jeremy, um, this is proving into a deadly situation, and I don't know if the virus, some unknown virus, is gonna come out of the blood moon, but I'm, oh, oh, I don't feel so good. Jamie? Jamie, what happened? Jamie, please respond! Damn it, I've lost her. Ugh. She maybe got sick from the virus the moon caused. Ugh. And we're getting word of an emergency alert system message coming over the air, so please stand by as we transmit this message. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control and the Louisville Police Department. At approximately 8.15 p.m. Central Standard Time, an unknown virus has been emerged in the city of Louisville. It may have been caused by the blood moon. Symptoms of this virus include nausea, vomiting out blood, coughing out blood, diarrhea, blurred vision, muscle spasms, 
bleeding from the eyes and mouth, lack of appetite, extreme thirst for water, and most certainly, death. If you experience any one of these symptoms, call 911 and rush yourself to the nearest hospital. All residents in the city of Louisville are advised to shelter in place. Close and lock all windows and doors, turn off all heating and air conditioning units, close all fireplace dampers, and seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape, damp clothing, or damp towels. Stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. evacuation for the city of Louisville. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Louisville Police Department. The situation that was going on in Louisville has worsened. The virus, now known as the blood virus, has started to turn people into vicious zombies. Many people who looked at them died from being impaled by red spikes. Approximately 1,259 fatalities have been reported by either getting infected or killed by spikes. This is an extremely dangerous situation and should be taken seriously. All residents in the city of Louisville are advised to evacuate immediately. Gather the necessary supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries. Evacuate the area in a calm manner. Do not panic, as panicking will only make the situation worse. Unruly behavior will not be tolerated and will result in arrest. Do not approach these vicious zombies. You will become infected and turn into one of these creatures. Stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. Civil danger warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Attacks from vicious zombies and the blood moon virus have been reported in other U.S. states. The following states include Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Iowa, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. Many people across these states have died from spikes after looking at the blood moon. All residents in the mentioned states are advised to immediately shelter in place. Close and lock all windows and doors, turn off all heating and air conditioning in units, close all fireplace dampers, and seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape, damp clothing, or damp towels. If one of the vicious zombies enters your home, use armed protection by all means necessary. Do not look at the blood moon. Doing so will result in certain death. Stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. 
All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS Operating Handbook for a National Level Emergency. The President of the United States or his designated representative will deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A national emergency has now been declared. There have been many reports of vicious zombies and the blood moon virus being received in all 50 U.S. states, including Alaska and Hawaii. Many vicious zombies have appeared in all major cities across the United States. Millions of people across the United States have died from bloody spikes after looking at the blood moon. It has been confirmed that the vicious zombies and the blood moon virus will take over the entire planet in the next three hours. The Centers of Disease Control has found out that the blood moon virus has no cure. All residents in the United States are advised to immediately shelter in place. Close and lock all windows and doors, turn off all heating and air conditioning in units, close all fireplace dampers, and seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape, damp clothing, or damp towels. Do not look at the blood moon. Doing so will result in certain death. If one of the vicious zombies enters your home, use armed protection by all means necessary. The President will be speaking on all stations shortly. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcasts and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the United States government to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public and assigned areas. This is WBYR. We will continue to serve the Fort Wayne area. If you are not in this local area, tune out of stations providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Fort Wayne area. Do not use your telephone. All telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. CBS in New York City, New York. We have just received report that the blood moon has the blood moon catastrophe has gotten worse. <laughs> oh my God! I'm sorry. Nothing. Oh. Um. <coughs> so, several major cities across the United States have reported seeing numerous vicious zombies attacking and killing many people across the United States. <coughs> many people have died from looking at the blood moon. When people look at the blood moon, they just fall to the ground and then they just fucking die from being impaled. Oh my god. I don't know how long I'm gonna survive this, but I'll keep you guys informed. So, 
Oh my god, people are dying! It's it's not, it's the blood moon! It's the blood moon! I'm getting out of here! Instructions will follow. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Global disaster is now occurred at approximately 2, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, there were many reports of vicious zombies and the blood moon virus received in all countries of the world. These vicious zombies could attack and kill their victims, infect them, and reanimate into these vicious zombies. Many people across the world have died from red, bloody spikes after looking at the blood moon. All attempts of making a cure for the blood moon virus have failed. Humanity will face extinction. The president, along with several world leaders, have been killed by vicious zombies and the blood moon virus. All residents listening to this message, gather all of your family members, friends, pets, and await certain death. If you are part of the religion, pray to the Lord God us. Ask for forgiveness. The president has selected a verse from religious scriptures to be played over the air, and it is as follows. John 4, 11 to 12. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God is in us and his love is made complete in us. All broadcasts and cable systems will sign off for the final time. Stay tuned for the final playing of the national anthem. God bless you all. <laughs>